Hi, welcome back to my channel. Another unboxing from Portland Leather Goods. I know I've been buying a lot from Portland Leather Goods because they keep coming out with new colors, new style of bags and also doing a lot of sales. So I just can't resist. The price is good, the quality is excellent. So here you go, one more. Let's open it up. They recently had an extra 10% off for their almost perfect section. Have you bought anything? I know some people mentioned 10% is not a lot, but I think for almost perfect, the price is actually very good already compared to all other leather bag companies. So I think it's still a great deal and it helps with the shipping, right? I did get something, so if you love Portland leather goods, you will see more coming. Here is how the bag is packed in the box, wrapped with paper. Let's take it out. So it wrapped in this tissue paper, no plastic bag, which is better for environment, I guess. So this is how it looks out of the box. That's how they wrap the strap around the back. This is their toaster bag in lagoon color. Let me remove the strap. That's how they pack and they kind of pull through the strap through this D-ring. Pull it out. So this one was from the almost perfect section. Look at this color, it's kind of between blue and green, which match up with my today's outfits pretty well, I would say. We have contrasting white stitches, and it does have this DeBoss logo, not very obvious. I love the whole minimalist design. If you like the kind of style, this is a great one. The strap itself is pretty long. Personally, I like my strap to be shorter. If you are taller or you prefer a longer back strap, this is pretty good, and it still can be adjusted to be even longer. Also, I love that with this bag, they are very thoughtful that they provided to this two leather strap catcher thing that hold onto your strap. So even though when you adjust it to be shorter, it will still stay in place and not flopping around. So after removing the packing material inside, it does have this slip pocket inside. I love this one. If they are going to release a tote in Lagoon color or any tote in Lagoon color, I probably will get one because this leather is thick and luxurious. And I love the pebble texture on this one. It's amazing. If you are able to catch a Lagoon color, get it. Don't think. Just get it because I think this is one of my favorite out of the all toaster bag I have. And probably many of you know that I don't just have one. The previous one, I bought and then another one and then another one. So in this unboxing video, I also want to address a few concerns people have. Sometimes I got messages from people asking questions about their bags. First of all, people often ask about the leather. Do I think they have good leather? Yes, I would say so. Their leather is not the thickest, which is great if weight is your concern because they have the medium thickness leather. You don't have to worry that the leather would wear out and also it's not as heavy as other full grain leather bags that I have. I don't believe that because the leather is the thickest is the best. Sometimes it's not functional, it's not practical, it's just too heavy. I think another concern people have is the size. Maybe because these are handmade leather bags or the way the leather react to how they cut it. Sometimes I do feel like their size is a little bit different, especially the, the depth. You probably cannot tell, but they all are slightly different. Or maybe because I bought some of them from the almost perfect section, that may be why they listed as almost perfect bags. I want to mention that because a lot of time people ask, can you tell if it's a almost perfect bag? What are the issues? What are the flaws that you would see on the bags? I would say not much, but sometimes you do see some slight size differences. So other than that, most of the bag look great. Maybe some scarf mark, pretty much it. 
Another question I seen people ask a lot is if the bag would tip over because they call this camera style bag because it looked like kind of a camera but they call it the toaster for Portland leather goods. A lot of people ask if their bag would tip over because a lot of camera style bag would tip over when you carry it and people would worry their stuff fall over when it tips. So this is how I hold it up let's say see the bag is empty right now and <laughs> see I really swing it and it doesn't tip over I think the reason why it doesn't tip over is because this is not a removable strap in a way that the length of this strap kind of control how much this bag can swing around because it controls the motion that allowed for this bag so you don't have to worry about the bag tip over it's not likely the only reason the bag would tip over is because maybe when you lay it on the chair and then when you pick it up your straps became reverse that's when you got to be careful because if your strap in a reverse position and you pick it up then yes it will tip over but otherwise it won't tip over as long as you make sure the strap position is in correct position this is another one I have and let's test it out it really doesn't tip over for me like I say unless the strap position is off and in a reverse position you don't have to worry the bag will tip over when you're carrying the bag so personally I often use this bag to carry my camera I want to show you how it would look if you are a photographer or you like to use a small bag to carry your compact camera this camera is Fujifilm X100V and it has been very popular on TikTok I don't know why because I have had this camera for years now and suddenly the magic of social media right so let's put this in it fit pretty well and you still have plenty of space to put other stuff however if you plan to put something bigger like this it may be difficult you can still fit it in but it's not going to look good I don't like that when the item distorts the shape of the bag because I think how narrow this bag is it looks stylish that way instead of distorting the whole shape so for the front pocket it's definitely big enough for you to put your phone inside when you just shopping around or out and about and then I want to show you how some of the items fit in this bag this one is their large envelope I don't think this is available for purchase unfortunately or else I would buy a lot because it reminded me of the Kirigami pouch from LV so if you have your phone or your wallet you want to keep it outside temporary it fits pretty well otherwise you can put it in and then this is their small psychic pouch you can put it in and then this is a very bulky coach wallet you can put it in it still have plenty of space so I would say for normal day out casual day out running errand this bag is perfect in case you still haven't bought one I also want to compare it to their small cosmetic bag this is the comparison and then this is their large cosmetic bag as I mentioned before I like my back strap to be shorter because I think for guys it looks better and more stylish when you have the back shorter it's almost like a sling bag look and here you see I have the strap going further down I actually punch extra holes to make the strap shorter so this is how it looks all the holes for you to adjust the strap and this is my leather hole puncher not the best one but it, it still works maybe I'll get a better one sometimes so I'm doing it on camera to punch extra holes usually I just eyeball it if you're not sure it's if you're not good at that you may want to use a pencil to make a mark or something but for me it doesn't matter because nobody checked my bag up close after getting the position right 
mine is not very sharp so I have to wiggle it a little bit to make sure it go through sometimes it doesn't go through and I have to do it multiple times I probably do this too frequently and I need a new one so you can easily punch extra holes let's do another one I do try to gauge the distance correctly or very similar to how it looks originally so that it could look cohesive So as I mentioned before, it does have this leather strap, back strap catcher and they provide two of them so that to make sure your strap stay flat even though if you want to adjust your back strap to be shorter and have longer left over strap here. So personally, I like how this looks on me. This length is perfect for me. I like my back closer to my body. It also makes the back feel lighter. If you feel like some of your bag may be heavier, try to use a shorter strap. It tends to make the bag kind of feel lighter because when the bag is closer to your body. So I like this length, it's perfect for me. If I'm out, I need to put my phone. I can just slip my phone in when I'm talking to people or when I try to get my wallet or shopping around. I can just keep my phone here. Just make sure you don't, you don't put it at the back. So People may steal your stuff. Anyway, thanks for joining me for today's unboxing. Hopefully, other than seeing this beautiful new bag, I have addressed some of your concerns regarding Portland Leather Goods bag or Portland Leather Goods toaster bag. This is just amazing leather. I, I'm so in love with this leather and this color. This is slightly thicker and the texture, the pebbling is amazing. So if you get a chance, Go get a lagoon bag, it's amazing. Thanks for watching to the end and I appreciate when you watch and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!